You still don't trust me. After all we've been through, remember, I have been your salvation from the very beginning. Your knight in shining armor. I freed you from the Nautiloid, prevented you from crashing to your death. I have protected you ever since, at no small cost to myself. I came to you as a leader, but I did not shy away from showing you vulnerability. I needed you as much as you needed me. I was not above recognizing this. When you discovered my true identity, I did not flinch from the truth. I never lied to you, not once. I am just like you. We have the same enemy, the same story. I encouraged you to fulfill your potential, all while protecting you from harm. And when you saw what I truly am, you did not reject me. You enjoyed me. Now I ask you for the last time to trust me. Release the Netherstones to me. I told you we have to trust one another. I told you the Githyanki would only want to kill you. For what you are, still, you choose to break our alliance. Even united, the Netherbrain was going to be an impossible enemy. But apart, we have no chance of survival. Very well. Since you will not work with me, you work against me. You leave me no option but to join with the Netherbrain. crystals with the hammer and free the prince of the comet. Gith's beloved son will lead us to a sure victory against the Netherbrain. A silent cry pierces your head. It's unlike any sensation you've ever felt. You reek of illithid. You fornicated with a mind flayer. And you slaughtered my honor guard. Nonetheless, it seems we must be allies. Your Majesty, the Prince of the Comet gets true air. It is an honor. Do not patronize me. You rejected the Illithid when it no longer suited your needs. No doubt you freed me because it suits you now. I will neither forgive nor forget your abuse of my powers. That is true. And it would have been the honorable outcome for one destined to become Gake. You had the opportunity to surrender yourself to my honor guard. They would have given you a noble end. They would have freed me, and I would have stopped the Elder Brain before it evolved into a Nether Brain. All that suffering. Avoidable. Were it not for 
for the choices you made. to this nascent empire before it expands into the stars. The Gake was correct about one thing. The Netherbrain's power is beyond us. The hardest metal in the world would not cut through its mind, for it is made of thought itself. At this point, it will take an Elithid to unleash the full potential of the Netherstones. Motherfucker who saved the world. Any time, soldier. You, Tiefling. You would volunteer your life for the greater good. You would make the ultimate sacrifice. I thank you. The Netherbrain wants nothing more than to see all infected become gay. My defenses keep the voice of the Absolute out. But just as I can raise them, so I can lower them. I will allow the voice of the Absolute in. Once it reaches you, it will order you to transform. It will only take a moment. And once you are a Mind Flayer, I will fold you under my protection once more. You will be the savior of empires. Not least, my own. With the withdrawal of Orpheus's power, Karlak's mind is rushed with the full force of the Netherbrain. The fabric of her being is torn apart and reformed in an agonizing process that is too soon. Rebel Illithid who stood beside their reborn prince and ended the grand design. Let us return now to the city and follow the path of the Netherbrain. <laughs> 